Obesity has become the most devastating modern day plague throughout the world, both in the developed countries such as US and the developing countries such as China. More than 20% of the total population is obese. Obesity is the single risk factor which is inducing more than 50 kinds of different chronic diseases, including the type 2 diabetes and some kind of the cancers. Unfortunately, the rate of the obesity is still increasing, particularly in the children, making it the big public health problem in many countries. What can we do to stop or reverse this obesity trend? Where is hope? An emerging field called microbiome science and technology may help the human kind to stop or reverse this obesity pandemic. Iran human beings have huge number of diverse microbes living together with us, particularly in the gut. The cells of the gut microbiota can be 10 times more than our human cells. The gene encoded by our gut microbiome can be 50 to 100 times more than the gene encoded by our own human genome. So I always say that when you, uh, before you come to this room, you are yourself. But when you leave, you are you and your gut microbiome. The gut bacteria can produce a lot of essential functions for the human host. The gut bacteria grows by using the undigested or non-digestible compounds from our diet as their nutrients. They also can grow by using the mucin and the sloughed cells from our intestinal tract. When they are growth, the gut microbiota produce a lot of kinds of bioactive compounds. Some are beneficial, others may toxic or detrimental. These bioactive compounds can come into the, our bloodstream and impact the host immunity and metabolic uh, metabolism. Many studies, including our labs, show that overgrowth of some bad bacteria in the gut, which can induce the chronic inflammation, may lead to the development of obesity. We found that one endotoxin-producing bacteria overgrowth in an obese human gut can induce the obesity in the germ-free mouse. For fooling the co-host postulate, this is the first example to show that some gut bacteria can be the uh, can be work as the pathogen for obesity. If uh, this overgrowth of this obesity pathogen is an important role for driving the obesity pandemic. Can we do something to manipulate the gut microbiota as a new way to control obesity and related diseases? The answer is yes. We found that non-digestible but fermentable carbohydrates and some phytochemicals in the traditional medical food in China are potent ingredients for modulating the gut microbiota to a healthier structure. A new diet scheme which can provide the balanced nutrients for the human as well as for the gut microbiota, we call that Feed Me, Feed My Gut Microbiota Diet can encourage the growth of the beneficial bacteria and reduce the level of the bad obesity-inducing bacteria. Our clinical trial showed that this gut bacteria target diet can help the obese adults to reduce their body weight and regain the metabolic health. It can also help the morbid obese children as young as three years old to lose their substantial amount of body weight. It even can help the genetic obese children, such as the patient with Prandtl-Willi syndrome, to lose almost half of their initial body weight and regain the insulin sensitivity. However, it is not a one magic bullet type of intervention. We need to regard our gut microbiota as a very complex ecosystem and manage it as such. It requires new diet and lifestyle management with rebuilding the health gut microbiota as the bioclinical goal. Now we have helped hundreds of obese 
patient to rebuild their gut microbiota and regain the metabolic health. So my question to you in the audience is how can you help us or how can we work together to make this new obesity management tool available for millions and millions people, uh, the rich and the poor alike? Thank you. <laughs>